You're watching Bleep Bloop, I'm Jeff, this is Pat, we are at Barcade in Brooklyn, and today we are honored to be joined by Dr. Chen, currently the world record holder for high score in Donkey Kong. So let, let's run through your credentials briefly. You have a computer science degree from Harvard, and math, yeah. a mathematics degree from Harvard, yes. uh, you are a doctor, yes. and you are the world champion of Donkey Kong. Correct. Which of those would you say is your greatest accomplishment? Well, to the world, Donkey Kong, but to me, probably the dual degree from Harvard. But I mean, you'd that... say, to me, it's a lesser known <laughs> score I have in Centipede. <laughs> How did you come to start playing Donkey Kong seriously? Well, I saw the film The King of Kong in 2008, shortly after it came out. And it sort of got me interested in Donkey Kong because I was like, why are so many people interested in Donkey Kong? Why do people care about this score so much? I and mean, before I saw the film, I literally played, I think, one game of arcade Donkey Kong in my entire life. If you're terrible at Donkey Kong, run, run as fast as you can to the top. Don't, don't grab the bottom hand. It's amazing how difficult this game is and yet how popular it became. It's yeah. very hard to just sit oh, down and run, run, run. I was like talking about it. He's like, no, no, no. You got to get ready to run. Ah! Oh, you don't. Okay, don't. Wait, 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 wait. Past it. Wait, wait. Nice. Get ready to jump. Okay. I'm so str. Oh, I pressed two player instead of jump. Uh, Such a rookie mistake. When I started seriously playing was probably November 2008, and I just kept getting better and better. And a year and three or four months later, I had the world record. So, uh, but my goal in the when I started playing was not to set a world record. I was just trying to kill time, and have some fun. Wait, what's going on here? You're just getting oh. points for jumping next to yeah, the. Yeah, this is kind of a buggy. All right, camera, camera's off, camera's off. Hold on, tell us about this. <laughs> the way the uh, machine detects if you jumped over an object is um, it looks at which way your joystick is pointed at the peak of your jump. And if it's in neutral, it only check directly under Mario for an object. If, if it's pointed in one direction, it checks the opposite direction to see if there's anything there. So you see I'm pointing to the right, so it's checking to the left, and Donkey Kong is there, so it's think, it thinks I'm jumping over Donkey Kong. And how did, did you figure this out by like... Oh no, I learned, this, this is something I learned by uh, talking to people on the internet. People ask me if I have any pre-game rituals, and I say the only one is going to the bathroom, because you never know when you're going to have a good game. Does your medical degree, do you think it helped you in a certain sense, uh, achieve the high score? I don't know if it helped. I mean, I think my math. I have a math and computer science background yeah. too. I think that helped a, a, a little bit too, because it's so? kind of a yeah. kind of a similar way of thinking. Like a, when you're calculating, especially like risk versus reward, especially when you're point pressing. Did you it, calculate spending the next year of my life setting a Donkey Kong score? <laughs> Can the game still surprise you? Definitely. I, I'm still I'm encountering situations I've never encountered before, especially on the rivets. One time, Doc and I just climbed down and started pummeling out. <laughs> it was crazy. I remember when I was a kid and video games were kind of new, that they would talk about how the one benefit that you could really hold on to as like a nine-year-old was the hand-eye coordination. They were talking about <laughs> the Doctors of Tomorrow yeah. would be incredible because they played so much Duck it is actually It is actually true. There's, there is a correlation between surgery skills and video, video game skills, and there's actually there's a few studies out on it, actually medical studies published in medical journals. Uh, the one not Nintendo we, Power. Not <laughs> Nintendo Power. No, these are actual <laughs> medical journals, like surgery Game journals. Game Pro. <laughs> I hope a lot of kids are going to see this video and show it to their parents to justify how much video games you're playing. <laughs> playing video games makes you a better doctor. There it, it is. is Fact. Oh. How long does a record-setting Donkey Kong take? take? Yeah, right now, the record is pushed up pretty high. I would say minimum two and a half, two and a half hours. Doesn't it seem like maybe Nintendo just didn't want you to be playing Donkey Kong for that long? Like, yeah, this you're game. like in the Matrix, like bending the rules of the system. Yeah. This game, this game definitely was not meant to be played the way it is played now.